After covering little ground on the first few days of my journey, I spend the next four days hurtling through the state of Schleswig-Holstein. It's not always easy. On the first day, I managed just 21 kilometers due to serious headwinds. Then after a gut-busting 57 clicks on day two, I only clock up 41 on the next day. My bicycle sat-nav leads me onto a muddy byway and I have to carry my scooter for five kilometers. At the end of day four though, I'm proud to have put another 52 kilometers behind me. Crossing the federal state of Schleswig-Holstein by scooter makes my pulse go up to more than 100 after several hours. I'm quite done. Despite my advanced training, how am I supposed to complete the entire trip through Germany on this country? My odyssey, which began on the island of Zilt exactly one week ago, has now brought me across Schleswig-Holstein to the Baltic coast. By the time I pull into a place with the exotic name Brazil, I've covered 214 kilometers. Wait a minute, Brazil? I'm standing here at the beach at Brazil and I thought the Copacabana would look quite different. I don't feel like dancing the samba here. I ask passers-by about the origins of the name and don't hear the same theory twice. One thinks it's called that to keep the residents from moving abroad. Another says confidently that it's because wreckage from a ship named Brasilia washed ashore here. Yet another says he's read that it's because the fishermen who used to live here in the 18th century began to emigrate. In remembrance of those who'd left, the people who remained named the spot after the most exotic place they knew, Brazil. There's no way to track down how the quarter came to be called this, but it's not all that uncommon for German villages and even towns to have unusual names. There's a Rome in Germany, as well as a Philadelphia, a California, a Bethlehem, a Russia, and even a Canada. But let's get back to Brazil. Looks nice, though perhaps not quite as tropical as you might wish. And it has a major drawback, no scooters allowed. So I strip down to my swimming trunks and just act like the cool day is hot, hot, hot. And that I'm on the beach in sunny South America. It's all about willpower. Okay, enough of that. So does the name actually affect the way people approach life here? What do you say? Does the fact that this district is called Brazil change your approach to life? Well, often when it's cloudy in Heidendorf, it's sunny here. The weather today bears that out. The name apparently has left its mark on the local culture. We provide an exclusive view of the Schleswig-Holstein version of the Brazilian Zamba. Ah, that's what I love most about that South American feeling. Swing your hips, move your feet, it's time to dance. Some of the people who live here at least have caught Brazil fever, just like a native. Fantastic. Now Ronald joins in on the dance floor. Not quite as traditional as you might expect, but certainly enthusiastic. I'm speechless. The Samba's top notch and some of these poses could have been struck by Pele himself. Here on the Baltic coast, the people really do have a touch of tropical passion. The town quarter's name Brazilian means Brazil. It has a vivid cultural life and the climate doesn't look as bad as at first glance. January may have 13 rainy days, but June on average has only 10. It is way better than in the rainforest. With a slight sunburn and my head full of samba rhythms, I withdraw with a smile from this exotic enclave in the high north. It isn't quite the Copacabana, but it comes close. Okay, not really, but even so, I say obrigado, Brazil. I hop back on my wheels, take the next turn, and head south. Another 72 days in front of me, crossing Germany by scooter.